You want to set up a timer on your Stream Deck. It's actually pretty simple. Let's jump into it. So the first thing you want to make sure that you have downloaded the Stream Deck software. You can do that by going to Elgato.com and click on Downloads. Then here you select your product to be the Elgato Stream Deck. Download the Stream Deck here. You get the same if you click on the Stream Deck Mini or any other Stream Deck. Then here we have an empty Stream Deck. It will be the same for the normal Stream Deck, the Stream Deck Mark II, the Stream Deck XL, as the Stream Deck Mini. Here on the right side, you will see little folders. If you don't have some of these, you can actually get them by clicking on this and downloading here at the plugins. The timer, however, is a standard feature, so we do not have to download anything for it. So here, click on Stream Deck, and then here we say Timer. We just drag that in. Watch out because it is in seconds here, so not in minutes. So if you want five minutes, you need to calculate that in seconds instead. So then we need to make this 300 seconds, then it's five minutes. We can title in test to know where the actual button is for. It will be more logical to call it five minutes because now we know it's a five minute timer. So you can set up a sound, connect, connection loss, disconnect, find other. So if we click on it and it goes off, there will be this sound alerting you. So you can set different sounds here. You can also put other and you can actually find a sound for yourself. If you put it on none, there will not be a sound going off and you'll just see the ringing tick on your stream deck anyway, but it won't come with a sound. I recommend at least putting a sound on it because otherwise you don't notice that the timer is completed. Because usually I sit in stream and I have the timer up for when my intro is running and I'm like, Bling bling, bling bling, and I'm like, whoa, no, there's 10 seconds left. And I'm like, ah, so let's go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, so you really want to have that sound being played. Otherwise, you don't really notice that the timer is completed. A downside of these timers is that you can put them in multi-action. So if you put a multi-action in, we can see that there's no timer in here. If we put in a multi-action switch, there's no timer here. Random action, there's no timer here. So those are three things that you cannot do with a timer, sadly. You can put a delay in. So if you put a multi-action in, we can do something like brightness and then delay, and then we can put it in sleep, for example. But you won't hear anything go off with the delay. It will not make a sound or anything like that. So you might be able to miss it. So that's something you want to keep in mind for your timers. If you want to know more about the Stream Deck, I do have a whole playlist about the Stream Deck. So jump into this video with me and I'll see you there.